Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Natasha and thank you for stopping by. Today I have a small Dollar Tree haul for you. I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul video in like three years, um, but I'm in the process of moving so I need to run out and get some cleaning supplies. So let's get started. Um, Dollar Tree is one of my very favorite stores to go to and I really enjoy watching people's Dollar Tree hauls here on YouTube as well as Dollar Tree hacks and I was watching someone's video the other night um, I can't remember whose whose channel it was on but um, she had these pool noodles um, from Dollar Tree and she cut them in two and she would insert them like in her boots um, so they'd stand up for storing them and I have several pairs of cowboy boots I love them I wear them all year round um, but storing them, they just flop over. So I thought I'd try that hack. I bought two pool noodles. Um, I bought another um, one of the LA Totally Awesome um, cleaners. I used this last night to clean my oven and it worked awesome. I used um, one of the Dollar Tree um, magic erasers um, and this just sprayed it on of course my oven wasn't that bad because I, I keep that up regularly but I didn't have to scrub like this stuff literally cut the grease and everything came clean um, easily but when you use this stuff I recommend wearing gloves I didn't have any cleaning gloves yesterday and I'm regretting it today because my fingers are so sore like it literally ate my cuticles off my nails um, so when you use this definitely wear gloves that being said I bought some cleaning gloves so um, I don't run into that issue today with my fingers hurting they're so sore but anyways so yeah definitely wear gloves when you use this I bought a package of gloves these work really really well um let's see microfiber wash mitts I bought two of these yes these are awesome these Go on your hand like a glove these are awesome to like wash your car with but I use these inside as well I love cleaning with them inside um, I dust with them cleaning the blinds makes it so much easier um, washing your walls and baseboards um, bathroom I really like cleaning my bathroom floor on my hands and knees I just feel like it gets cleaner um, rather than using a mop and I use these and they work awesome and they wash up nice throw them in the washer they last a while and I dry them and I don't have any issues but yeah so I bought two of those for cleaning when I was cleaning um, out my stuff like I said I didn't have any gloves and my nails are horrible they like kind of stain my nails so I bought a package of nail brushes um, so I can use those later I bought two bottles of Clorox bleach so I can clean the bathroom really well. I really wanted regular pine salt. I love, love cleaning with pine salt. I love walking into a house after cleaning with pine salt. It smells so good. Um, but all they had was like the Dollar Tree brand and I don't think it smells that great nor do I think it works as well. Um, which really surprises me, surprises me because they always have these little bottles. Um, of the pine salt at least they do at my Dollar Tree but all they had was this tropical flower scent um, so I bought two of those I didn't smell it in the store so let's see what it smells like oh my gosh I kind of wish I would have smelled it in the store I think it smells like cat urine a little bit so I'm not sure that I'll be cleaning with these but I did buy two of them um, I cleaned out my car yesterday and I needed a new air freshener so I bought one of these black ice air fresheners I bought a package of Twix to snack on when I'm cleaning and packing and a package of the boom chicka pot the sweet and salty kettle corn this here is so good I love 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 this um, I used to buy this at Dollar Tree all the time and I thought the packages were a little bit bigger, um, maybe not, it's been a while, but I used to buy like six at a time, and I would take these 
to work and eat them for lunch. The whole bag. Probably not the best thing, but it's really, really good. So, if you haven't tried this, try it. It's so delicious. Um, my dresser is starting to, like, the grooves are starting to come undone. Um, so I needed, like, some glue. And I found this original super glue, um, wood glue. I guess it's by super glue. So I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it works. Um, this is the first time I've ever come across this at Dollar Tree. Um, so if anyone's tried this, comment below. Let me know how it works. Hopefully it does a good job. Um, let's see what else I have. I bought three of these large vacuum suction, um, what is it called? Vacuum storage bags. These here are awesome. For a dollar, you can fit a lot in here and they work great. Um, I always like switch out my wardrobe, like summer, winter wardrobe, I always switch them out and I store them in these bags. Um, right now I currently live in a garage apartment and it's so small I literally have one closet in here that's it right behind me that's it um, thank goodness that my mom just lives right up the street so and she has a pretty large house and so I keep a lot of stuff there but I have no storage where I live right now so these here come in handy um, especially switching out wardrobes um, even like your comforters and stuff like that or blankets that you want to store these here a blanket will fit in one of these and um, they work awesome so if you haven't tried these definitely try these out they're awesome for a dollar um, I just have two things left so I came across these candle holders they're so pretty they did have these in white and I really really wanted the white ones but like some of the um, tops of them are chipped so if you do find these make sure you check these that they're not chipped um like this one's chipped a little bit on the bottom but make sure they're not chipped the white one oh excuse me the white one i was gonna get it and just paint it over like where it was chipped but like when this starts chipping it starts like turning into like a chalky residue kind of thing and it just keeps going away like chipping away so i didn't buy it um, I did, I really wanted the white ones, so I'm going to be on the lookout for it, but I bought two of these, and I'm going to do a little DIY with these. Um, a few years ago, Dollar Tree had, like, the diamond-shaped, I don't know if anyone remembers them, the diamond-shaped um, candle holders, and I would show you, but I've already packed them away, and um, they had them in gray, black, and white, I don't know if I already said that, but gray, black, and white. And I bought two of those um, in gray and two in white, and I made um, a little DIY. I bought the succulents that they have that come in these little things, um, and they just like pop out of these little containers. And I would just like cut the stem off and um, hot glue it inside here. It looks like something you get at Hobby Lobby or something something you pay like ten dollars for um and you pay two dollars so i thought it was like cute little decor so i thought i would um do a little diy with these the dollar tree succulents though they're not that great the ones that um i made my diys with a few years ago they were like rubber and they looked real um well they do look real they're not shiny but this here's like a shiny plastic so I'm not digging these Dollar Tree please come back with your other succulents um they looked a lot better but yeah these are just like plastic looking but still it'll be cute decor um so hopefully I find the white ones um I'm going to um Morgantown which is a a city like close to us um they have awesome Dollar Tree there so I'm going there in a couple uh weeks so hopefully I can find the white ones and um some more succulents and do a little DIY with that um, but yeah anyways so that was my very small Dollar Tree haul um, thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time